Alright. We're doing something new today. Candy's burger and fries. Family restaurant looking for a security guard on the night shift, 12 to 6 a.m. Monitoring cameras, ensuring safety to the facility, equipment and characters. Not responsible for an injury in any time. Ugh. These old games have such fast ones of those I knew I had to read it quick. Alright, uh. Yeah? Let's listen, I don't actually remember. You have one new message. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, uh junior manager here. Uh, so you're in a new security guard, right? Yeah, it's, it's great to finally have someone qualified for the job, you know? <laughs> uh, we had to, like, share the shift because, you know, someone has to be here during the night. Uh, but, but with you, uh, now we have more energy to be here during the day. Uh, you see, we're probably going to be a lot busier from now on. Um, you may have heard about the place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, right? Uh, yeah, they got shut down yesterday. I don't know why, though. Uh, probably something like uh, tax fraud or such, you know. Uh, I never really liked that place. I always had a bad feeling about it, you know. Uh, their pizzas weren't even that good. Uh, anyway... I think you're gonna fit in really well here. The staff are really nice. Uh, we make sure to help each other out on everything. Like, uh, when, when we close late in the evening, we all make sure that the floors and tables are probably cleaned and all the dishes has been washed before we get off of the day. Uh, now, in order to save power, of course, all the lights will at night be turned off. But don't worry, we have a desk lamp in the office that you can use. If you open up the maintenance panel, you'll be able to view the restaurant through the security cameras. Yeah, camera? And the cameras all have a neat feature, which is night vision mode. Oh. These cameras were the cheapest we could get, so the night vision isn't that accurate. But okay. it does retain the colors, which is good, I guess. Um, you can toggle the night vision by activating the camera you're already on. Oh. And uh, by Ooh. the way... We have a security feature in the restaurant that limits how much power can be used after hours. Uh, this is mainly so that our electricity bill doesn't skyrocket during a night if somebody forgot to turn off something somewhere, you know. Now, um, your office is also the information area, which you can tell because of the window counter in front of you. Uh, there should be a button underneath the desk too, this is for the security door in front of your window. Uh, to your left and right are also two doors. These doors are, um, uh, a little stupid. Um, you see, they require power to be closed. Um, I think it was something about some computer or somewhere always checking if they're closed or not. Or maybe it was a security feature, you know, in case the place goes dark. Uh, like, if there was a power outage, you know, you, you would be stuck here, but the doors open up automatically if that happens. Um, all three doors are power-driven, so basically don't use too much power, otherwise the place will shut off completely. Uh, but, but don't worry, as I said, the doors will open up if that happens, so you won't be trapped. Uh, I, I think that was all for now. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck on your first night here. Uh, don't fall asleep. And have a good night. All right, with that out of the way, uh, I was gonna play this. I was thinking about playing this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I just thought it'd be interesting to play some games I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, because so you don't just flick it like normal games. You have to click. I mean, I understand how it works a little. I didn't really remember the night vision stuff. As you can probably tell. But, you know, here. Woo, it's working. Yeah, they're all just kind of chilling here. Who's... Who's this one? It's like a, it's darker than this, so it must be its own thing, right? Or is it just like, it's supposed to be like an old version. Uh. Yep. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, you moved over. Okay, that was neat. Um. What's this? Oh, wait, what? So it scales up? Uh, I guess I'll see whenever they get here. Wait, what? Oh, you are. Cat and other cat. Is it like a penguin? And like a weird thing here. Is that like for that? Penguin. This is definitely the penguin because the penguin likes feet, legs. Uh. Do I. I'm gonna do that. I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen anything about this. Oh, you're getting close. Oh, you moved. Oh no, okay, we're probably gonna need attack soon. Can I tell if they're here? Am I just kinda supposed to guess? <laughs> I don't like that alternative. Oh wait, what? You moved? Oh wait, oh no, you're really moving. Does this use power? I don't think it does. Oh, okay, that... So, were they not here? Oh, wait, are they gone? Huh, that was quick. Oh, you went back to the stage. So, wait, wouldn't I... Do I even have to use these cameras? I don't know. Maybe not. Because if they have their eyes visible. What about you? What are you? Like, what is this? What is this supposed to even be? Is that like... What's this up here? I can't quite tell. Anyways, look boss around me. Well, you're getting close. Yeah, see, these don't look similar at all. And let's see, he said the colors all match, so... Where did... Oh, no, they're both really close. Oop. That could have been bad. Oh, are you already on? Neat. I mean, this is pretty... It's, like, similar. So I'm assuming I don't have to close it if they're right here. I think I remember something about this guy going here. It's been like three years since I've seen anything about this. Oh! Okay, we did it. <laughs> Loading feet. Should I turn off my mouse? I'll turn it off next week. What? Oh yeah, this was, wasn't this made around like Five Nights at Freddy's 2, so this is like... That. Kinda. Bear roll. What's this? What are you? Oh. Yeah, I'm just not. It's not my problem. Do I have to look at you? 
Yeah. But wait, if I look away, what's gonna happen? How close are we gonna get? That would have been a good scare back then. Not now, though. <laughs> you know, with the game having all the stuff, uh, there's gonna be another phone call, so I'm not gonna talk for it. We're doing the first two nights of this video. Just two. Uh, I wouldn't mute it, but I don't actually know what's going on. You have one new message. Message? Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see? I told you to do oh, just what? fine. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd mention, uh, we, we have this little, um, uh, list of, uh, <clears throat> problems, uh, that we have observed with the animatronics over some time. Uh, it's, it's nothing to be concerned about, but, but the animatronics do have a few minor glitches. Glitches, uh, yeah, let's call them that. Yeah. Uh, we're of course trying to get them fixed, uh, but you should know some of them so you don't get, uh, uh nervous if you hear anything. Let me see, um, the animatronics sometimes start to walk around on their own, uh, Sometimes in the morning, we find them in the strangest places. <laughs> uh, so you may see them walking around while you're here. Uh, let me see. Some of their sensors are a bit wonky. Uh, and, and, oh, and in case the animatronics is what? experiencing violence towards a guest, the animatronic will try to seek out the cause and uh, stop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have no idea how it decides to do that, but. It doesn't seem to mind it with the children, though. It's it's weird. If the, if there are children playing cops and robbers, you know, and one of them gets shot, you know, uh, the animatronics don't really do anything out of the ordinary. Uh, except after that day, uh, the animatronics don't really seem to function properly around adults, uh, especially not around the staff. Uh, yeah. The animatronics seem to ignore you most of the time, you know, unless you come near them. And they just turn their heads and look at you. Like, as if you just told a bad joke. <laughs> I, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, but, yeah, we kind of had an accident about a month ago. It seems to have, like, traumatized their systems or something like that. Uh, anyway, we replaced the faulty animatronic with some brand new ones. Yeah. So he's stored way in the back until we can get someone to fix him. Anyway, if I were you, I'd keep the other ones at a distance and uh, use the doors if you have to. Um, that would be it for now. Uh, ha have a good night. Oh no. Uh, so this is a little bit difficult. Mm. Now I got three problems. So these arcade machines, I didn't really mention it last night, but I think these, let me look, yeah, it looks like in the shape, oh, and it has the buttons too, okay, yeah, it's definitely an arcade machine. You all are rarely close, and I don't appreciate it. I hope none of them just start breaking down this. Because I think there's glass, let me look, it looks like there's a thin... I think a glass is another reflection. Oh, they're all so close. I've only been attacked by one. Which is kind of surprising. This guy's really bad. Like, really bad. Um, yeah, this seems pretty peaceful. Oh no, this is really bad. They could show up at any second. Um, 
think I got it pretty unlocked down, so it shouldn't be too dis difficult, but seeing and dance. Uh, Do any of them, these come from the left? Because they'd have to go up here to this camera, to this camera, to this camera, to this camera. It just seems like they'll probably just come to the right. But both of them coming to the right? That doesn't feel right. Alright. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. So yeah, I think I don't have to look at the cameras, but it gives me a little sense of where they are. Oh my goodness, you're so fast. Oh my goodness, you are so fast. Oh no, wait. I think it's gone. What about you? Okay, you both are back. You, wow, well, you're so close already. Uh, it's 4 a.m. I'll probably make it. So wait, does this really drain power until it's like all the way full? If that's how it works, then that's pretty helpful. Alright, there's a coat hanger here to hang something. I don't know. I'll be playing the first, second, third, and then apparently there's going to be a fourth one sometime. I just was looking while I was getting these ones, and there was a fourth in the making. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that was for the when Scott gave all those creators a bunch of stuff to make their own games, or if that's just random and they were just doing it for whatever. So apparently, you know, we free roam. I read the description. I didn't read the description of these three because I've seen them before. Actually, I don't think I've seen the third one. I don't know what it's about. I know the second one's with the in the basement area, like area. I don't know. Maybe a basement. Okay, we're fine for now. Just kind of stopped coming. Like, what's happening? Um... Should I close this? I don't know. I don't think so. Nothing seemed to happen earlier, so probably fine. Cutscene things. I'll probably be doing the rest of the video on the next one. So we saw like, was it the puppet? What is Air Six F Four A? What? What is... what's that covered in? Is that blood? 
Okay, uh, is that it? Well, that's gonna be all. That was good. That was good. That's a good game. That was a good game. Yeah, uh, I'm not done with it, of course, but introduction, 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. It's well made. Yep, well, I'll be continuing this later. That's all. See ya.